guys, it's Jeremy. The purpose of this video is to be a continuation on my other video on how you hook your Moto 360 up to your iOS devices. Now I'm going to put a link up there in the video and down there in the description if you haven't seen that yet. Basically the video shows you how to download an app on your Moto 360 and download an app on your iOS device and it allows you to link them together. Now there are some limitations because it isn't an official release yet. And I would like to make this video just to provide some extra tips and some other things that I didn't mention. Now when you connect your Moto 360 to your iOS device, you first have to set up your Moto 360. Now to do that, you do need an Android phone or tablet. And if you don't have one already, the cheapest and best device there is to get is the Moto G specifically the Verizon one. If you pick one up from Best Buy or Amazon, which are also linked below, it's $40. Um, they want you to buy their service for $45 a month, which isn't a bad deal. Verizon is great. But during the activation process, you can just skip through it, put the phone on airplane mode, turn your Wi-Fi on, turn your Bluetooth on, you're good to go. You now have a fully functional Android device for $40 that you can connect to your Moto 360 and then also connect your Moto 360 to your iOS device and be on your way. Now that's one option. Another option I would consider because since your Moto 360 and your iPad or iPhone isn't officially supported yet, I would consider carrying around your Android device. Now this, uh, this Moto G is very small. As you can see compared to my Nexus 6, both made by Motorola, look at that. It's very, you know, it's very pocketable. I could honestly have both phones in my pocket and it doesn't make a difference. It feels pretty good. So that's one option for you. Carry around your iPhone and your Moto G. The Moto G is connected to your Moto 360 so you get full capabilities. If you connect your iPhone to your Moto 360 right now, it's not going to be fully compatible. You're going to get the basics. You can't respond to messages. You're not going to need all the Google Now cards, which is a great thing. So you could connect your um, iPhone to your actual Moto G through um, wireless tethering. The iPhone is going to power the Moto G with all your data. And the Moto G is going to connect to your Moto 360. You're not going to have to pay for extra service because the two phones are linked and your Moto G is linked to your Moto 360 right there. Now, there are a few other uh, problems I want to comment on hooking up your Moto 360 to your iPhone directly. That's why I'm making this video. When you connect your Moto 360 to your iPhone, um, it disconnects a lot. Some people are having trouble putting the pin in occasionally. So that's what, again where this video comes in. Get the Moto G, connect it to your iPhone for the data, connect it to your smartwatch. Now, that's if you don't like that idea, there's another option. The Moto 360 is coming out with the Android Wear 5.1 update, which isn't out quite yet. I've made some videos about it. We're getting very impatient. Anyway, this video, this update will be out soon. And then what that provides, the 5.1 update gives your watch the ability to work on Wi-Fi. So instead of just Bluetooth connected to your phone, the watch can be dependent. And now, once again, you do need an Android device to set up your Moto 360 and download updates. So that's again where the Moto G comes in handy because you use the Moto G to send the data to your smartwatch. And then once that update does come out, the 5.1, whatever wireless network you have connected to on your Moto G will also be connected on your smartwatch. So technically, if you go to the same places every day, if you're in your house, if you're at work, you could get away with taking your Moto 360, leaving your Moto G at home, taking your iPhone, and you're good to go there as well. So there's tons, and op tons of options right now. Unfortunately, they require an Android device either way. If you want to put custom watch faces on your Moto 360, if you want to do apps, if you want to take full advantage of the device, you're going to need an Android phone, and the Moto G is the cheapest option. It's 40 bucks. So that's not bad there. Now, that being said, all these different options I gave you, of course, 
there's one other option. You could just wait. There's been rumors about official updates coming from Google or coming from Apple to where you can officially have your Moto 360 work with your iPhone. We don't know when that's going to happen. The Moto 360 it's been on flash sales for like $129, $150. It's very affordable. So spend the $150, spend the $40. You have now spent way more than $100 less compared to the Apple Watch. And you get a beautiful round device with tons of functionality. Okay, so we have the Moto G. I charged it. It's on. We're at the activation process. What you want to do, hit start. You want to pull down from the top. You now have your uh, program switcher. Close that activation. Except, let's go home, skip. No, I don't want to use Google now right now, not now. I'm done. And look at that, full functionality that quickly. Look how smooth that is for $40. And the screen actually looks really good. And compare that to my Nexus 6. Look at the size difference. So if you want a smaller phone just to carry around using in your bed, it works great. So now we have the phone working. You just need to go in the Play Store, download the Android Wear app, and then link it with your Moto 360. Now I've done tons of videos on how to link them together. If your Moto 360 is used and already activated on another device, you just wanna go into settings and then reset device. And then once it resets, you will be able to pair it with your Moto G, make sure you have the Android Wear app up, and you should be good to go. Well, that's it, guys. I showed you how to set up your Moto G. I've showed you how to connect it to your Moto 360. And I've also told you how to connect your Moto G to your iPhone. That way you can get data and also power it with your Moto 360. I hope I've provided every single option to you. I know hooking up the Moto 360 to an iPhone is a really popular one thing these days, but we're, we're waiting on official support, so this is all we can do. I've provided you every single option I can think of, and I hope one works for you. And just remember to hit that like button and subscribe today, because I do like to make videos that help you out. And then also check out the links below. I did provide links to purchase the Moto 360 and purchase the Moto G on Amazon. So if you're interested, be sure to do that as well. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I know I will. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.